hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created the login api where we are verifying the user's email and password and if user email and password is correct then we are generating refresh token and jwt token and returning to the user in today's video we will create another api which is a refresh token in which we will verify the refresh token from the request and return a new JWT token to the user. So let's get started. First of all, we need to create a DTO where we will get the token. So in the DTO package, right click and click on new Java class and we'll name this class as refresh token request. In this class, we can just mention one property that should be private string token. Let's annotate this class as data so we can get getters and setters. Now let's go to our authentication service implementation and start writing a new method here. So the method will be public and this will return the same JWT authentication response and we can name this method as a refresh token and in the params we can mention a refresh token request in this method first of all we need to get the user email so let's create a string variable here called user email and we can call here our JWT uh, service method extract username and will give our token in the param and we can get this token from our request so now as uh, we have the user email now let's get the user from this user email so we'll write user repository dot find by email and here uh, let's pass the email after this uh, let's use or else throw for any error and now check if uh, this refresh token is valid or not so we'll call the jwt service dot is token valid method and here we will uh, pass the refresh token and then our user Now uh, let's go to this uh, is token valid method and uh, as you know we already created this uh, method and here we are again extracting the username from the token we are checking if the username from token is equal to uh, the username from our db and then we are again uh, calling another method uh, is token expired and in this method we are basically verifying the date now uh, in this if condition we are sure that uh, the user token is valid and user is saved in our database and now we can create a new JWT token and return to the user so we'll write var JWT and then we'll call JWT service dot generate token method and will pass user here so uh, this will generate a new uh, JWT token with updated expiration date now uh, let's copy this part and send the response here I just created the object for JWT authentication response and I am setting the newly created JWT token and for the re refresh token we can uh, get this from our request and then we'll uh, return this JWT response otherwise we can return here null now that's it for this method let's copy this and mention in authentication service Now uh, let's go to our authentication controller and create the endpoint. So we can uh, copy this API and we need to change the endpoint so we can 
type here refresh and we can update the name of the method and uh, the request body should be a refresh token request let's update this and import the class and pass this to this method and update this to a refresh token now uh, this is it for this api uh, before uh, running our application uh, let's create the endpoints for admin controller and user controller so here we'll uh, use the uh, get mapping and this method will be uh, public and this will return response entity of type string let's name this as say hello and in this method we'll return response entity dot ok and in the body we can just uh, send hi admin so now uh, let's copy this and create the endpoint here in the user controller and instead of admin we can type here user now uh, let's run our application So as you can see our application is up on 8080 without any errors. Now uh, let's go to our postman and call our APIs. As you can see here I am on the sign in API. Uh, let's send this request and we should get the JWT and refresh token in the response. So uh, from here let's uh, copy this refresh token. And uh, in the refresh token API, let's uh, replace this with our token and uh, send the request. So uh, this should work fine and this should return a new token with the refresh token. Now uh, let's try to test our role validation. And here, as you can see, we have an API for admin endpoint. And from the refresh token API, let's copy this token and try to hit the admin endpoint so in this uh, authorization tab we should uh, select the bearer token and let's paste here our token and as you can see we are getting a high admin and 20 okay that that means that this is working fine now uh, let's try to hit the user api with this admin token so uh, in the authorization we will uh, paste the token and this should return us an unauthenticated because here i am logged in as admin but i am trying to access the endpoint of user as you can see we got 403 this means that this is working fine properly now uh, let's try to log in our user and hit the same endpoints so we'll write user at the rate gmail.com and in the password we'll type user because we already created a user with this gmail in our previous video so we'll send the request and we got our token now let's uh, copy this token and let's go to the admin endpoint and paste here the token and send the request as expected we got 403 now let's try to access our user endpoint and uh, this should give 200 and you can see uh, it gave 200 and the message is hi user all of our APIs are working fine. And that's it for today. In this video, we created the refresh token API and we created the two endpoints for admin and user and tested their functionality in the postman.